Nigeria, we are not producing. We don't have any factory. We don't have any industry. Nothing is working. The foreign investors, they have left our economy. How do we... Okay, you have succeeded in rigging yourself into power. You have no solution to the economic problem of this country. You go to the market today, you see a different price. You go tomorrow, you see a different price. And you are talking of a, a foreign investor. Who will come and invest in such an economy? As currently in Nigeria is that you can't plan with it. Even with your current salary, you can't, you can't, you can't do budget with it. You can't do budget with it. You go to market today, 2,000. You go to market today, 3,005. And even... Nothing, nothing. The technique you use, they, they import it. The, 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 the distance you use, uh, uh, take away this thing you use, they import. What do you produce as a person? Nothing. In agriculture, you are not... Uh, uh, insecurity is taken over in the north. Those people, our farmers are no more going to farm. They will carry their cows and go there to eat off the plants. How do you, how do we as a people thrive? So when somebody is telling you that uh, this person will come and change Nigeria, it's no. The issue of Nigeria is that the revolution will change Nigeria for good. It will change Nigeria for good. Where our people will come out and begin to fight. Where our people will come out and begin to fight for our, our right. Begin to ask about a little bit like for you. They have major government there. I Nigeria, I don't see if you now living in Nigeria. Now nah, they wonder like this. Uh, that is what is uh, nah, what is the that is they go high, 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 high. Now for me to chop self, now problem. What did happen now? I will not smoke. Now that is now we're going to smoke. A person go smoke without no eat now. Let me focus with that. So no joy now, my man. Nah, no joy. What did that happen now? Nah, Nigeria is used in Nigeria right now. Ah, my brother, as I'm telling you, the future of the country is very high, very high, very high. Look at our meeting now. Everything is cost, is highly cost. Everything don't go. Everything high. don't go high. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't fire our leaders. Now, any way they like, what they do, go see the chop. Even they like, what they carry for, go drop one five, two thousand. Don't have seen fire. They go see the chop. Go see the let them know see God pass them. Living in Nigeria now, how does it feel? Come on, we be like snake. The exchange rate. Yes. It is it is very clear that this present administration, including with the past administration, has no solution to Nigeria economic problem. And that is why they don't want to leave power. If you want to know somebody that has no solution to a particular problem and and also, the person is also greedy. A greedy man, if you put a greedy man in a position, though he has no solution to the problem, but he will not agree that he doesn't have solution to the problem. But if it is a man that come to probably benefit the nation, or an individual in an individual case to benefit you, even though he says, I don't want you, he will leave. Because he knows that he's not coming to gain anything. But he's coming to help you. So if you don't want him to help you, he will leave. But in Nigeria's own case, reverse is the case. You see people struggling, fighting, killing, doing all manners of things to get into power. Why? For what? Okay, you have succeeded in rigging yourself into power. You have no solution to the economic problem of this country. You go to the market today, you see a different price. You go tomorrow, you see a different price. And you are talking of a, a foreign investor. Who will come and invest in such an economy? As currently in Nigeria is that you can't plan with it. Even with your current salary, you can't, you, can't, you can't do budget with it. You can't do budget with it. You go to the market today, 2,000. You go to the market today, 3,005. And even this thing now, now give room to most of the people that sold communities in the market. To, to just like Just like a, the instance of a provision, milk and milo. I went to one supermarket, 3,500. I went to another one, 4,000 naira. They will just wake up and increase the price. Immediately they hear dollars like they increase the price. And that is the they are scared of the, the yes. Uncertainty. So 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 the only thing that we 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 bring a solution to this problem is that I will not okay, let the military take over. Okay. Because we have seen that every system in Nigeria has failed. We have tested the democracy, we have tested the civilian rules, there is nothing, they have nothing to offer. And I also appeal to the military, if a military wants to take over, let it be people that have people that have a good mind, people that have something to offer, not that, not that military take over, military and somebody will just come and enter and ruin the country more. So for now, 
I will appeal to the military of Nigeria to take over this government from this civilian. Because you can't be a military personnel and a civilian is misruling the people. We don't have a judiciary system again. Everybody has seen it that is cash and carry judgment. And that's what is happening everywhere. Currently now, Nigeria, there is no law in Nigeria. The laws of Nigeria does not work. It only works for the common men. But to the rich, the laws of Nigeria does not work. As you are now, no matter the crime a senator commits, you can arrest him. No matter the crime a minister commits, you can arrest him. Because they can buy their way out. Yes, you can arrest him. The law only work for the poor masses. So the poor masses are the scapegoat? Yes, they are the scapegoat of the law of Nigeria. Nigeria has no law. If Nigeria has law, where we are today is not where we are supposed to be. So don't it is law that govern people. Where there is no law, sorry, there is no nation. Without law, what are you doing there? There is no law. So Nigeria does not have a law. So any country that does not have a law, I think that they should just, I will not say that they should divide it off. A production, we don't produce anything. Every other thing we use in Nigeria, they are being imported. And this thing has to do with dollar. Because if you are to import toothpick, just as normal, or import toothpaste, just as normal, it will go through exchange of Naira and dollar. And because of this, the prices of uh, 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 goods and services has skyrocketed to the highest heavens. People are now uh, left to cry and mourn every day of their life. You go to buy uh, bread, is a problem. The bread you used to buy, 700 is one five or thereabout. You go to buy rice, you will used to buy 50 naira a cup, it's more than 350, 300. So, and in Nigeria, we don't have a middle class. We are neither have the rich nor the poor. So, the people who are being affected drastically are the poor. To feed is a problem. So I wonder, people who have children to cater for, people who have children to cater for, how do they feed these children at this time? It's quite unbearable. People are calling for military intervention. Uh, I have a message for Tindibu. Yes. From Nigeria. All I have a message for Tindibu. Yes. Yes. The issue is that uh, even the military is accomplice. The military, they are not left out in our suffering. You understand me? Because if the military will keep quiet at the face of this hunger, at this time in our history of our country, that means they are, you know, the, 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 the situation is favoring them. Military are enjoying it. They are enjoying. They are living fat. They are living fat. So when you say the military should come over, uh, I don't think they will do anything much better. You understand? They won't do much better. Because for the fact that they, in this time of our uh, dark history, that we are in famine, that we are not producing, that there is nothing to eat, the military, they are living fat, going with the escort, celebrating their bad day, that of their family. It is, at this time, we don't have any results apart from revolution. The only thing that will change our life as a people is that we'll come out and match the government of the day down. So revolution is the way forward. That is the way forward. Yes. Okay, let me so look at the situation of what happened in uh, France. Uh, the other time, their citizens, they came up and said they don't want this. Whereby you know that the, somebody in power, you are not the person who voted the person in power. The very person in power knows that it's not your own vote that brought him to power. You understand? Literally, the person owes you nothing. So Tinubu himself said it was his turn to take over the affairs of Nigeria. And he came and brutalized Nigerians, stole their mandate and came into power through the back door. So if you as a Nigeria is hoping that that Tinibu of a person will change your course as a Nigeria, you are mad.
But you, it was a, he's your candidate now. You are LPC or you want to take exception? No, for now. Let me tell you something. Uh, Tinibu himself, tribalism has eaten deep into Nigeria. Uh, you understand? Just when like you the. election, you are happy. Yes. Do you know why I was happy? Yeah. Do you know why I was happy that yeah. Tinibu won an election? Because I told them normally that they shouldn't go and cast their votes, that their vote will not count. I told them, especially those people from the Labour Party, I told them your vote will not count. They said, no, you should not even franchise them. You should allow them to exercise their civic rights. And at the end of the day, we allow them to do that. So Tinibu has nothing to offer? It did not, primarily. You should, nobody should tell you that. When Tinibu was coming, when he was doing his uh, uh, primary uh, stops, him himself told you that it's his turn. But Nigerians, like Nigerians said, things have been bad before now. But they were not worst. So Tinibu cannot come and perform the magic and just win this... Uh, no country of the world eh, that does not meet economic crisis. But that is how you navigate about it, how you go about it, how you try to prepare a change is what matters. You understand? Nigeria will have not been able to bring that instinct into our political life as a people. When you come in through the back door or you come in because your people elected you, what are you going there to do? If not to change their course, how do you change the economy? Nigeria, we are not producing. We don't have any factory. We don't have any industry. Nothing is working. The foreign investors, they have left our economy. How do we thrive as a people? People are saying this is global. The economic crisis is global. It's, it's worse. That the, the issue of Nigeria is peculiar. We don't use the issue of Nigeria to compare that of America or to compare that of some of African countries, like Rwanda, like Angola. Like South Africa, at a time like this, we have the mineral resources, we have the resources that will prepare us to greater height as a people. We have the manpower. But how do we enhance these things to bring effective change? Nothing, nothing. The technique you use, the, the import it, the, 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 the distance you use, uh, 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 take away this thing you use, the import. What do you produce as a person? Nothing. In agriculture, you are not, uh, uh, insecurity is taken over in the north. Those people, our farmers are no more going to farm. They will carry their cows and go there to eat off the plants. How do you, how do we as a people thrive? So when somebody is telling you that uh, this person will come and change Nigeria, it's no. The issue of Nigeria is that the revolution will change Nigeria for good. Revolution. It will change Nigeria for good. Where our people will come out and begin to fight. Where our people will come out and begin to fight for their right. Begin to ask questions. We don't live in religion. Because these people... They work in the party person with the, 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 the our religious uh, this, uh, politicians. When they come, they run to the church, the church will run to them, and we become their meat. You understand? Yeah. So, anybody who is telling you pray, pray for Nigeria, pray for Nigeria, that person is antichrist because you don't pray for something that is non existent. Nigeria is something that is not existing.